So how can you replace the income you get from your job with trading? That's exactly what we'll cover today. So this morning I was thinking back at what would I do if I were to start from scratch having a job and going to trading full time? What would be the step I would take? And I thought I would share some of the things I came up with with you guys. It's not exactly what I did when I went to trading full time or when I kind of stopped working for other people. But it's still a step by step process that I think is really realistic and that if you were to apply it today, you'd have a much greater rate of success as opposed to doing everything your own and not thinking about all the steps you have to take. And although this can be tough and daunting and a lot of steps that you have to go through, I don't put these rules and these guidelines for the fun. I put them here because I know they would work, they would make your job much, much, much easier and they would make it possible for you to go full time without worrying about having to go back to a job or work part time because you cannot make it trading. So here's how this works. Three things you need to do and a bonus tip at the end. The first part in all of this is in regard to your capital. Now we've talked before about the fact that you cannot make a living with $5,000 in your account. I'll put the video below or here in the corner about that topic. And I know I get a lot of hate for that. Some people will complain, but there's not other ways to go around it unless you want to be trading for the short term and you're not taking this as a business. Like business typically spend more money and they need more money than a simple guy doing his job. You cannot end up the same mindset of being an employee when you trade full time. It's going to be completely different. So if you're ready to save money, then you better start today. And I would recommend, this is even what I do now, I would recommend you save at least 20%, 30% better of your income for trading. Most of it's going to be invested in your trading account. So you're going to put that in your account to get some capital to trade. The other part might be used for education because if you want to become better, you have to get this information from other people. You have to get a coach, a mentor, someone who's going to help you push forward. And I'm not here to say that I'm the only mentor you can have. Although I'm mentoring a few students right now and I love it, you need to find a mentor that's going to be right for you, that's going to be doing what you want to do. If you want to trade professionally, pick a mentor that's trading professionally. If you want to trade and travel, pick a mentor that trades and travel. If you want to trade price action, pick a mentor that trades price action. Which is leading to point number two. But first, I just want to talk more about that thing of saving money. So once you've saved 20, 30 percent of your income every paycheck, every month, every year, you should be getting a pretty good amount of money. Okay, that's money you cannot spend. That's money you have to put on the side. You should make four thousand dollars per month and spend all of it at the end of the month. Then you need to reevaluate either what you spend your money on or how much money you earn. Maybe that's not enough to to live. And maybe you need to get sources of income outside of that to make it easier and more smooth to save money for trading. Those are options. But you cannot stay in a place where you complain, oh, I only make X amount of money per month, or I only make X amount of dollars per month, oh, I cannot get more money, I'm stuck in this job. You need to be solution focused all the fucking time. And if you are at a place where you complain, uh, guess what? You won't reach your goals. And that's unfortunate. But it's time to move on. So once you save that money, I would say this depends on the person and how safe you want to be. But if you really want to be safe, once you get to full time, try to save twice as much as you would earn in a year. So if you earn right now $100,000 in your job every year, try to save $200,000 for your account. And that might not be the first year, I totally understand. That might take some time, but progressively you want to get to that point. And there's no reason to leave your job once you start trading. You can keep it, you can grow, you can have two income at the same time. And that's going to make it even easier for yourself. But having one time the income you make per year in capital is a good start. Having two times is better. Having three times would be even more smooth. But you decide whatever you want to risk and what level of stress you're willing to take. And it depends if you want to accept having a smaller income for the first few years. If you're willing to accept that, then totally fine. No worries. But if you want to get to a point where it's easier to make that income you have a new job, it's not that hard. Now once you've done that, we are at step number two. And step number two has to do with working your butt off on your strategy. That's going to mean testing stuff, trying new things, learning, making sure that what you trade really works. And you cannot be in the state where you say, oh, I think it works because I learned this here. Or I think this should work because it makes sense. You have to be smarter than that. You have to test it. You have to reevaluate it. You have to track it. And you have to stick to the same thing all the time. Now here I don't care what you trade, you could be trading something I have no clue about or something I know really well. But the point is that you want to do something that works for you, that you understand, that makes sense in your mind and that you can explain to someone else. 
Now we've talked about this in the past, I'll put the video below and here in the corner on how to trade for other people. We talk about the exact same thing, you need to know what you trade. Explain it to other people, teach it if you can, and that's gonna make it easier for it to stick with you and for you to understand whatever you have to go through. Now unlike the popular belief, strategies are really easy to find. You can find them on every blog, every website, every book, every course, every mentor. The question is, are you gonna be tested? Are you gonna know what the stats are? And are you gonna apply it at the right time and at the right place? That's a big key that people kind of forget sometimes. But don't be bogged down for months or years because you think that you cannot find a strategy and you complain and you're, again, worrying that you won't find a perfect strategy ever. Experiment, get some chart time, and you'll get it at some point. If you do the right work, of course. And over time, obviously, you want to get to a point where you have multiple strategies. That's only one way to make money, but many of them. And that's going to make it easier for you to sustain long term. If you have a system that doesn't work for a month or a few months, you have a second or third one to make it easier to sustain. Now, once that's taken care of, we need to go to the next part. And that has to do with surrounding yourself with the right people. Now, I've seen personally such a big jump when I started to surround myself with the right people and talk with the right people. People that had the same goal, people that achieved the goal I want to achieve, and they knew what step to take. They might not always be super encouraging, they might tell you and bring you back to reality pretty fast, but the point is that you cannot succeed surrounding yourself with the wrong people. People that are negative, settling down, staying at the same place for 5, 10, 20 years, that won't work. And your mindset's better, you take more action when you surround yourself with the proper people. And those, like, there's no limit. These, these might be entrepreneurs, they might be mentors in trading, they might be coaches, they might be professionals, they might be traders, they might be whatever. But the more you see people that achieve exactly what you want to achieve, professional trading, trading while traveling, swing trading, day trading, scalping, the more you get around those people doing the right thing that you want to do, the easier it's going to be for you to do it and to actually put in the work and when you have questions, you have people next to you to ask questions to. And that's making it way easier to reach your goals and to keep a proper mindset. Like, there's just this thing about the fact that if you're on people that are way ahead of you, you cannot just stay here and not do anything. You cannot just turn around and play and have fun when you know that you have a long way of work to do and a bunch of people to reach in terms of achievement and what they are doing on a daily basis. So that's kind of how I've been able to keep myself motivated every day to do things I don't always want to do and it seems to work pretty well. Now I said with this I would have a bonus tip and bonus tip is pretty simple. We've talked about the fact that you have to save money, we've talked about the fact that you're going to use this money for trading and that would work but if you want to speed things up and if you want to get to your goals faster, what you can do is actually develop a skill that's going to make you more income, like a skill on the side that you're going to use to generate money. And that can be broad, but having multiple streams of income is always making it easier to trade and to reach your goals. And in the end, you don't have only one thing that you do in life, you have two or more. And that's just more fulfilling overall. I found for myself that trading, although it would be nice and cool while you travel, it's a really cool thing to look at the chart and to place trades and to make money over time. But you don't get the level of contribution you can have on other things. And I don't get after a few years the same level of fulfillment that I had when I started to trade for sure. I started to trade and I had this excitement to look at the chart, play trades. And now it's different. I just place a trade, I just feel like I take a trade and everything's fine. But I don't feel excited every day necessarily to trade. I don't feel like I could become a millionaire in a few minutes. I feel like I'm a trader and that things work out for sure. I'm grateful for everything that happened in the past, everything that's to come. Still, it's not the same thing. So you have to find other ways to stay kind of on your toes and challenge and push to achieve more things. For some people it might be only like learning a language, but if you want to reach your goal faster, why not combining both? So one skill you have, you develop and making money actually, which is pretty cool. So link an interview with Jeremy Newsom below. He shared something that really made sense a lot and I'll actually put this part at the right time so you guys can watch it pretty easily on kind of this and why it's important to develop multiple skills, the best skills you can develop, it's gonna be linked below. Hope you guys like this video for now. I really hope you got some value. Comment below with your thoughts as always. And don't forget to subscribe. There's one more video like this every single day. Click the bell also next to the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys here tomorrow. Ciao.